The family and the power of justice plays a um, really important role in the, in the movie. Mm. I mean, without spoiler, mm. but you have to sacrifice something mm. to keep the balance. Mm -hmm. And how did you put all together? Yeah, for me, it's, I'm glad you said that, actually, because family is, is really the center of the movie. I try to make it the center of a lot of my movies. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's where I come from. I think if I didn't, you know, have a family as an author, I probably would tell different kinds of stories. Maybe all my movies would be mm -hmm. about bad dates or something like that. But, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but, but especially I, in this one. This one know? in particular, there's, mm -hmm. you know, focusing in on the three sets of families. And some of them are not nuclear families, mm -hmm. but each one of their loved ones and that connection um, between them. And do does it break or, you know... What is it like to have a loved one that may be a superhero? It was really important to me that they become one unit. I really wanted to tell the story through that love, essentially. It's a kind of a weakness for the character, mm. you know, especially for Mr. Glass, mm, mm. The, the relationship with the mother, mm. because we didn't see it before. We see a, a, a taste of that, but especially in yeah. this one. Well, f you know, for me, I don't know if I would say weakness. Um, they're extensions of them, you mm -hmm. know. Um, it, I, I'll, the movie is based a lot on One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which I, was one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And the, the kind of the narrative structure of that movie really intrigued me. And um, you can see if, I don't want to say too much, but you can see it when you watch Glass, like, you know, where I was really inspired mm -hmm. by that movie. Okay. And um, what about inspiration? Philadelphia plays mm. always a central role in your character. Yes. Also, um, the water and mm. the basement. Mm. And that became the rooms in glass. Mm -hmm. I want to know why. Well, one, in terms of basement, I think, you know, just anything that contains mm -hmm. and doesn't allow me to see something is great. So mm. it doesn't have to be necessarily a basement, but a room, um, hospital rooms, or anything that shuts us, and then mm. I can use sound effects or may use your imagination. That That's a big thing. And with regard to Philadelphia, the more specific you are as an artist, as a writer, uh, the more powerful you are. So the the thing that would be perceived as a weakness that I don't live in Los Angeles and that no one's a filmmaker in Philadelphia um, has become my strength. It's so my stories mm -hmm. are based in this this quirky, you know, city in the United States that I can tell specific stories about, and you can, it rings true to you because that's it sounds specific and interesting. Mm -hmm.